Hello folks. Um, I got an update here for you and it is two exclusive news in one. First, it is the first time the Royal Mint in the United Kingdom, the UK, decided to sell bullion. Before they just sold proof gold and silver coins. But now for the first time they are selling bullion and they have this bullion website that we can see here. And it is tracked live prices and, and move with the prices and so on. But clearly recently people start speaking about prices of gold will drop to certain levels and certain and people speaking about five hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars and, and breaking the one thousand dollar barrier and so on and so forth. While I was buying into that uh, I came by this the Royal Mint. I will show you something now you wouldn't believe with your eyes. Okay. The price is tracked automatically to the pri life price of gold and silver and the price suddenly clearly the price dropped below what their cost so they stopped by selling it how they stopped selling it by pumping up the price to ridiculous values this Britannia gold coin is price here in pounds so this is normally it sells for 800 pound so now they are selling it for 7,000 pounds it means you don't want anyone to buy it <laughs> they don't want to sell it with the real price real track price which is why well, the silver is still keeping it they have no problem with the silver but clearly the gold guy is touching the wire absolutely so the people who is been indicating that all oh, the gold will fall back and it has a long history being in the 500 600 range and so on that's a good argument and I was buying into this but there was several other issues that uh, raised this but I didn't have evidence at hand but I think this is the first time you have an evidence that a large mint house like the Royal Mint Bullion it is the oldest mint and one of the oldest mints available in today globally and most recognizable coins and especially the sovereign and the Britannia and the new lunar series so let's let's go inside just to verify what I'm saying here let's go see the lunar series maybe you are more aware with okay here is sovereign the Britannia as you can see if you buy one or more seven thousand pounds and as you can see same price seven thousand pound even for five hundred plus uh, wait a minute I think it's more as a bug let's do the calculations together If I say this coin normally sells for 800, multiply by 500 coins, so this is 400 coins, 400,000 pounds, and you get it for 7,000 pounds only. Wow, that's a good deal, guys. Will they honor it? I don't know. Uh, let's see where is the best option here. 10 coins, 10 coins by, <laughs> clearly the price is going down with the price is going up, I don't know this is per each, ah right, sorry guys, sorry, 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 it's my mistake, yeah, I got confused, this is the price per unit, giving that the price per unit will decrease by increasing the quantity, so for them to put the price seven thousand pounds seven thousand pounds while it sells for eight hundred pounds because just the price of gold they don't with the premiums they put on it 
I am sure they program their website that if you go below, if the price of gold went under certain point, then they protect themselves by doing this way. If you try to buy it now, let's see. Ah, okay. I will not enter my details in front of you guys, but uh, again, the Britannia. Whoa. Okay, this, sorry, this is the tubes. Let's go for the single one. Uh, okay. The lunar hole sold out already. Wow. Okay, but again, this is a price 7,000 pounds. No, that was a good deal. And even the tube sold out. So I just want to give you the heads up, guys. The really is a gold price touching the wire now and with meant companies this is what they could do is pumping artificial prices to prevent anyone from buying it as you can see something with 800 this for example this is a server and it's usually in the range of 200 220 to when it is max 250 pounds so they sell it each one 1857 is this the price where is this the real gold price or is just a, a random pump it up price I'm, I'm saying this why this is not a small vintage house or a random thing okay this is the royal mint being printing been minting for don't know 400 700 really. let me I'll try to see the history because at one point they put their history and it's, it's oh yeah here it is the royal mint has a history that spans more than thousand years we're speaking here about the oldest available mint house today and when gold dropped to certain level this is the expectation to the values of gold and then they don't sell it they don't sell below this figure and hence they pump the prices to that extremely extremely high let's go see the gold price now seven hundred sixty not not the lowest point I didn't check so again that this when it was seven hundred for three I didn't uh, I didn't check to be honest but on the other side if we go to the silver despite the price they have no problem they have no problem here with the server. This is the usual price, is normal price. Of course, there is taxes, guys. Don't get confused. There will be VAT taxes, 20% added to, to these figures. So, as we can see in the silver, they absolutely have no problem. And that's why what I argue, guys, as usual, diversify. Try to add more gold into your portfolio. Catch the gold because this is scary pumping up the prices they don't want people to buy the gold coins actually it will be cheaper now to buy the gold the proof one because the proof one is cheaper than this this figure of course this is like it has an indication you can buy it from there with still the 800 for it, but clearly they have a cutoff that when gold price drop below certain level the pop-up artificial price added I am sure it is calculated price so this is an ounce this Britannia gold is an, an, a pure ounce of gold and if they estimate that ounce of gold this is I think this is ever the first time 
you got a man to declaring the price of gold. Please let me know what you think guys. Share and subscribe. Thank you.